everyone and welcome. You're chilling with Anna. I'm Angelo. That's Andy. This is our podcast. Let's go. I'm Andy. I can say my name. I know my name. It's my intro, Andy. Deal with all right, it. All right, 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 all right. As you say, whatever. Yeah, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Words. All right. I'm going to kick us off with a good old fact of the day or fact of the thing. You do that. All right. So <clears throat> this is about Mars. We'll get into that oh. shortly. Humans have not yet been to Mars, but scientists have sent spacecrafts there to help them research the planet. And the first uh, thing to Bob that, you know, touched down on the surface of Mars was in 1976. And the latest one was Thursday, February 18th, 2021. Last Thursday, uh, NASA sent another rover to Mars, and it was called Perseverance. Uh, that was the name, and it's really cool. Uh, it's all high tech and coolio and stuff. It's been actually really interesting and stuff to see what they've been what they've been doing and everything and everything they've put on the um on the rover. Have you heard about this? I have, I have, and they've also just released the uh, first microphone um yes. sounds from Mars. Yeah, it's just like that was it. But yeah, uh, we won't play that because we don't want to get like copyrighted or sued so yes. if you want to go listen to that you can search it up yourself um it's everywhere but now, yeah even it's on super cool um because my dad he he was with nasa and stuff and so uh, he was a part of the team when they sent one of the rovers to mars and i don't remember which one and so like he was all like whoa this is cool stuff and this one it was it was uh upgraded with like a drill and so it was like a hollow drill and so it was like drill into the ground and it can like pick up a, like a like a block of rock from Mars and stuff. That's going to later they're going to send another thing to go pick up those samples and bring it back to Earth. And so that's really cool. It is. It's very interesting. Would you want to go to Mars? If you could go to Mars, would you go to Mars? Sure. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, probably a lot of people, but like, I don't know. Like if you could if you could go to Mars for like okay, let's make it more broad. If you could go to space, let's say, would you go to space? If you got if you were given the chance to like a little trip to space, like Elon Musk was just like, I'm opening my Uber to space. You wanna you go to space? I would right. go if I had the chance. No, it's not <laughs> like, obviously <laughs> No, okay. It's not something that I would like one hundred percent wanna do, but I still would wanna do it. Like, it's just something I would have to get on and go. I think it'd be fun. I mean, it probably wouldn't be, like, woo, super fun, because, I mean, like, space stuff's scary. But, like, I, it would be it would be quite interesting. I'd want to go. It'd be cool. Astronauts. Yeah. They're the real ones. Um, all right. Well, we'll move on to our next thing, then. This one is actually, like, really, really cool, and I thought this was amazing. Um, I believe it was a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago, scientists have brought back an extinct species. This, and so, they have brought back to life the black-footed ferret. Here it is. Oh, if you're wondering cute. what it looks like. It is. It's a ferret, but it's got black feet because it's the black-footed ferret. Um, and so, they have, br- this was an extinct species, and they brought it back to life. Yes. That is insanity. That's <laughs> that is crazy on a different level of crazy. Like, bringing back a species? If you could bring back a species, what species would you bring back? Oh. This is a big question. The blue macaws, because sadly they're now yes, extinct. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful bird. Yeah. I don't know, like, other animals. Maybe a mammoth. I've always a wanted mammoth. to see a mammoth. That yes. doesn't sound safe. No, it's not. It doesn't sound safe. But I've actually seen a documentary <laughs> that they're... A mammoth. In my house. In the You've garage. You've seen a mammoth in your house. <laughs> Where you're going to keep a mammoth in your house. Yes. Is it cold enough there? In your house? I'll make it cold. <laughs> You'll make it cold. Will yes. you survive? I'll make it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Says the guy who, when it's like two degrees, start freaking out about cold it is. You'll make it. Me? 
Yeah. Man, no, I sleep with a fan on and it's like <laughs> negatives outside. Oh, Don't no, talk to me about cold. Fans. Ooh. Can you survive in minus like 40 weather every single day for this mammoth to survive? Yes, because it'll be cute. But I It'll be cute. Yes, it will. It'll be cute. You're going to take care of an elephant. Have you seen Have you it? seen no, Ice Age? Big. Yes, I've seen Ice Age. That's a movie. Exactly. It's a movie. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get a talking mammoth named Manny with a friend sloth and saber tooth tiger, and it's <laughs> randomly going. Does nobody love shit the sloth? Like you're not getting. You're not getting that anytime soon. Okay, but the whole point. My whole point of bringing up the mammoth. I had a story. <laughs> Okay. There is a, actually a documentary that I watched that they are trying to bring back the mammoth. I mean, like, it's not... Like, they're taking In D- theory, DNA. it's simple. In theory, it's simple because, like, elephants are very close relatives of mammoths, except they don't got the big hair and all that stuff, right? The, but the, it's the just big like hair. If, well, I mean, yeah, they got a lot of fur and hair and whatever yes, they're it not, is. they're not furry. Um, so it's like, if they got enough dna from it they could like put it into you know put it into uh, um like an elephant kind of like a baby and then you know hopefully the dna would do its whole little shebang bang thing like and stuff because that's yeah. why they brought back the black footed ferret they just put it into a ferret um i mean that's the simple way of putting it i don't know all the like technical like actual big brain terms of how they did it but the simple ways is like you know put into a ferret like a close relative of the thing and it Hopefully it will come back and work. Right. But you bring back a mammoth? Okay. Come on. You're telling me you wouldn't want to see a mammoth in person? No, because I'd be frightened. But come on. Really? If I could see a mammoth in person and it wouldn't kill me, sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I would want to see one in person. I feel like if you were to bring back a mammoth, it would kill you. I'm not bringing back a mammoth. Not me. <laughs> like not me i'm not gonna do it but like i know about it <clears throat> if someone did it i would be happy kidding? that'd be sick right i forgot dodo bro okay. i'd bring back the dodo birds i forgot they, dodo birds dumb. were extinct as i see i don't know think about how ostriches what? are just dodo birds with long necks uh no i did not but don't dodo birds kind of look like i don't know they like a toucan I mean, I don't know what they actually look like because, of course, we only saw, like, Ice Age, the movie. So it's like we're going off of that reference. I don't know. Here, let me see if I can find a picture of it right now. <laughs> see if I can. I swear they kind of have a beak a like a bird. toucan, like that rounded. Oh, they do. They do. They do. Yeah. I don't know how accurate this is, but, yeah, hold up. Let me see if I can if I can download this and I can I can share it. I'll do it quick. Uh, I'm trying. This is stressful. If you would like to see a picture of a dodo bird or the black-footed ferret, come visit our YouTube channel. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Chilling with a a <clears throat> Hold up. Okay. That's, that's, it's kind of messed up because the top of its head is cut off, but that's, that's basically the dodo. the dodo bird. That's the dodo. And then if, you were, if you're coming late and you're wondering what the black-footed ferret looks like, this is the black-footed ferret. It's Again, quite if you want to see these pictures, please check out our YouTube channel. Yes, 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 chilling with a, chilling with A and A, and the A, and is in the at, the and symbol, not spelling it out. Yes, it's the I'm ampersand. Yes, 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 is that what it's called? It is, yep. Wow, I didn't know that. I learned it when we I were just first call creating it the our and logo. symbol. Everyone does. Gnarly. All right, um, all right, this is a big one. How big of a Marvel fan are you? I mean, I'm interested in it, why? interested i you i fo- like the movies you follow the mcu stuff the what the M- <laughs> mcu marvel cinematic universe what okay obviously not <laughs> point is i'm the not new like Spider- super invested three the new, the new spider-man 3 name has been released today the title has been released I, see it's spider-man no way home now then, all the fans get to theorize all their opinions now to what that means. I have mine. I haven't even watched the second movie, so I can't... Oh my god, you're not a real MCU I just fan. haven't had the chance yet. I haven't had the chance. Oh, boy, you're not a real MCU fan. What is this lying to me over here? 
I never said I was. Have like, you hardcore. watched all of the uh, all leading up all the way until Endgame? Have you watched all of them? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Did you watch them in order? No, no, Andy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, you, I have a. Okay, who do you think is the best Spider-Man from the three? We got Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland. Which one do you say is the best? Or what are your opinions on 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 all of them? I mean, for for Spider-Man, that is not for their other films. I don't really know. Like, I think I'm not trying to like offend anyone or anything. This is my opinion, but I honestly a big think... controversial question for so many people. They're like, "No, this one's the best," or oh, whatever this. I have my opinion. I'll say it after you, though. I've enjoyed the last two. Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland. Yes. You preferred to- Andrew Garfield over Tobey Maguire. Okay, in terms of the movies, yes, what? I liked. Yes, he wasn't bad. Perfect. But I'd probably have to say Tom Holland overall. Okay, this is my opinion. I say that Tobey Maguire has the best Peter Parker. I say that Andrew Garfield has the best spider-man but i say that tom holland has the best mix of both tom holland uh, both tom holland both peter parker and spider-man that's what i say so overall i say that he has the best mix between the two yeah that's what i say yes can i can i interrupt you for a second because i just i was while you were searching for your dodo bird image I was yes, looking on Instagram, and I'm very excited to say for those Canadians, specifically Nadia. those who who live in a major part of Ontario, <laughs> the CNE is planning to reopen in the summer. CNE? Yes. Really? Cool. Yeah. I mean, don't go. I'm. That's my opinion. Because <laughs> COVID. Yeah, no. It's but not like, the best, but like... Probably not the best thing to be doing right now. Opening up a. I'm mostly excited to see how they're going to figure this out. Because I know in I uh, love seeing some places in, uh, like some states in America, and some places here they're opening up. Um, what are they called? Movie theaters. Uh, again, but they're opening them with like 25 percent capacity to like. Those are kind of like easier to control too. Yeah, because you kind of just space out the seats. Not the well. Not the seats. You space out the people in the seats. That's what I mean. Like you block off every second seat so that. Yeah, yeah. every second. Yeah, yeah. What's twenty five percent of a movie theater? I don't know. No, yeah, I think it is every because okay. So when things were good in the summer months and we were actually able to like go do things, I went to Niagara Falls and things were open. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, continue. Uh, <laughs> when the thing when the things were good <laughs> and uh mm-hmm. things were decent to the point where we can actually go like do some fun things. I went to Niagara Falls and I did like the the little touristic things that everyone does at Niagara Falls. And I went to like this moving theater where they play those like special movies and you like move along with the chairs and everything and they spaced it out every one or every second seat, they would block it off with tape, and you would have ah, to sit. Like every other one, or it was like yeah. one miss, miss <clears throat> one. Oh no, every other one. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that's that's, that's cool. how they did it. Mama what Mia. Musicals? What musicals do you like? Hairspray. What's like what's the like top three? Uh okay. I mean, I literally only focus on three. That's um, perfect. Then. <laughs> what are you okay? What are your top three? Oh, I love them all equally, though. Nope, too bad. You now must hate some. Hate? No, no, top three. Okay, just tell me them, and then tell me them, and then I'll help you. So what are the three? Waitress. Okay, of course. Mamma Mia. Okay, of course. And Hairspray. Oh, my God, you always listen to these. Okay, I would say this this is my guess for what I think you would say. I think you would say... Okay, I think last at the bottom is hairspray, and I first and second, um, whatever they're called, Mamma Mia and and waitress. I'm like, 
Yeah, I feel like it could go either way for you, but I feel like it's uh, Mamma Mia in in first, and then Waitress in second. That's what I think it would be for you. Am I right? Am I wrong? See, if I were to go... Because I just learned of Waitress last year. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. So if I were to go that way, it would be Mamma Mia, Hairspray, then Waitress. But if I were to go, go that like that way, now, go by liking. Yeah. Uh, then I would probably say, yeah, what you said. I see my guessing self's on point. But on okay, point. in terms of the movies, because there's two movies, Hairspray and Mamma Mia. Then, That's fair. Then Dang, I, I remember watching to... Hairspray for the first time in grade seven, I want to say. It was, it was late. Um, I was, it, I was so scared i was like why are their hair so big what is happening i was so like confused can you imagine using that much hairspray like keeping your hair that like stiff and stuff yeah no i can't every morning you you have to wake up like a half an hour earlier just so you can do your hair i just got a memory of have you watched uh cobra kai have you been watching that or have you watched it or seen no, I've, from it. I people are telling me to watch it though. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. If you if you like the Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid stuff, you'll like this. Um, and there's one character in it, Hawk, and he has big mohawk and everything. And uh, I thought that it was kind of like you know partially hairspray, a little bit of like maybe a wig or something. Mm-hmm. But it's completely hairspray keeping his hair up in his giant mohawk and i'm like what that is no insane and so this is like he spends like half an hour or like whatever just doing makeup and hair because they have to get his hair to stand up and like in between each scene they like hairspray his hair again to make it nice and it's like oh my god it's crazy yeah no that's too much but okay if i was if i was going mama mia hairspray in the movies i would have to pick hairspray first Hairspray. That was like the musical that really hit me when it came to I hit you. <laughs> when I when I would watch it, like I love Mamma Mia. Okay, That's hold genius. on. You asked me my favorite musicals. What are yours? Yeah. Top three. Mine. Top three. Because yeah, oh. you listen to a lot more. Oh, that's hard. Okay, 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 okay. I listen to Hamilton probably the most. So Hamilton's on there. Anything goes is probably on there because I was gonna. I have my Anything Goes sweater it's hanging over there. I should over there um and uh, i was gonna do that for the musical last year at my school so i kind of learned like the entire musical every single line that's in it so it's like i kind of have to put that there it's stuck in my brain right. um and oh, the last one? one let's see let's see let's see um this isn't on there but this popped into my head shrek the musical the guy who plays donkey i know him i met him he came to my school and he like he like taught me stuff. That was cool. That was off topic. That's um, cool. Well, no, it's on topic. It's about musicals. It it's is about musicals. But what's your last one? Because I'm curious now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't. Oh God, this is a struggle and a half. Okay. Oh my God. Ah. Um, Beetlejuice is good. Oh, um, I forgot about that one. Okay, see, Beetlejuice I know that one good. sort of. Yeah, yeah. Um, hairspray is good. I was never too big into Waitress. Um, Dear Evan Hansen's good. Sing a lot of the common ones. Um, what about Avenue Q? Wicked. Oh, Avenue Q. I sing that too often. Oh, dang. How did I not even think about that one? Oh, my God. I sing that all the time. Yeah, you make me. Damn, what, when right. we used to hang out, you would make me play it. I would make you play it. That's factual. You know what else I'd make you play a lot? Um, Man or Muppet from the Muppet movie. Yeah. Okay. I I I, I think. Here's what I think. All right. I'm thinking you really like these puppet type. I like puppets. (laughs) They're funny because it's stupid. So I'm thinking Avenue Q is up there. Okay. Uh, Let's say. Okay. I'll go with. I'll go with Hamilton. Anything goes and Avenue Q. Those will be my three for this. Now, what do you think my my order is gonna be? Oh, because you gotta guess. I guess. See if let's see if you're. I I I big think, brain thought of. So I have thought of it. I list. think I think. He thinks. I think it's already in that order. You think Hamilton? It is? Anything goes Avenue Q. I think that's the exact order. 
Ooh. You know? It's either that or Avenue Q you. is in the second spot. You have to commit. Which one is it? You have to commit. Tell me which one you're committing to. Oh, okay. Cause... I'm sticking to my first answer. Your first answer? So my first answer, Hamilton Steve. Is for... <laughs> it's up there, it's Steve. It's up there, Steve. <laughs> See? See? So you're saying it's Hamilton? Whatever it was called, anything goes. Anything goes. Wow. And then the other one. Well, and well, that, now I'm now I'm regretting it because you just said whatever it's called. I just forgot what Avenue Q was too. Don't, don't I have bad memory. Okay, that's what you're okay. saying. Yes. All right. We'll start from we'll start from the top. Hamilton. That was correct. Anything goes. Avenue Q. Oh, anything I goes. knew it too. But it's not because it was You're like, close. oh, it was so important to you because you did it at school that, you know. Um, it but... was, but I, but I was just thinking about it and I was just like, how, how many times have I listened to Anything Goes compared to Avenue Q since that's ended? Hmm. Once? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so that just shows. I listen to Avenue Q a lot, but I listen to Hamilton the most. Guarantee it. Do be a great musical. I would love to play Hamilton. That'd be awesome. That's like a that'd be a, like a dream come true if I could do that. When I all right, we're doing a little confession time. When I when I listen to Hamilton, I sing the songs and act it out and dance as if I'm like the character. Like I I wanna I've been like because I got Disney Plus and so I've been watching Hamilton. I've been like trying to learn the dance and I know like. A couple of them. I'm like, boom, boom, bang, boom. I can't, like, of course, I can't dance and stuff. But, like, you know, but what I can do <laughs> ain't bad. Yeah. So is that it for your topics? Those are my topics. Thank you, everyone, for watching <laughs> and listening. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not already and you like to be, please subscribe to this channel and become one of our listeners and uh, watchers. And um, if you're listening to this podcast, don't forget that we have a YouTube channel, Chilling with ANA. Please comment, subscribe, like, hit the bell notification, and uh, you'll get notifications when we post new videos every Friday. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Have you a for good watching. Day, everyone. We love you and all. You, we love you guys. And this has been Chilling with A&A. Toodles. Ciao.